This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on creating killer titles in Final Cut Pro 10. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to animate titles. This, by the way, is a fabric generator. I've set it from its, I set the default to canvas. I added a tint color, added about, oh, that much tinting to make it sort of a warm canvas. Went back to the video tab, and with most of these generators, they're just too bright. I pulled the opacity down to about 30%. That's just too much in your face. Pull it back so I keep the texture, but text is going to pop on top of it. And speaking of popping text, if we search for custom, remember I said that the basic title, control T, has no animation, just full screen text. What custom is, is full screen text, but with tons of configurable animation. Double click on title, and type my main movie. Select it all, Command A, change the font. I so dislike Helvetica, I tell you. It just drives me completely nuts. Let's look for something that's kind of cool here. You'd think I'd play. Oh, oh, there it is, Bauhaus. That's great. Okay, so we'll make it bigger, about right there. And notice that my spacing is just way, way too wide open. i got to tighten that up. So I grab line spacing, tighten it up. Yeah, let's make it about minus 125. That's better. Grab the white dot, drag it up, and command return to get out of text mode. Now we go back to where the animation is. That's the title button. If I set the opacity to about, oh, there, watch how this looks as it plays in. The text is grayed back and brightens up. Oh, you don't want it to be grayed back? Then make it fully transparent, and there's no text, and it just paints itself on. Let's gray it back a bit because it's kind of weird and cool. All right, so now I want to change its position. Click, hold, and drag, and we'll drag it over to here. And now when I play it, ta-da, the text slides in. All right, well, let's just make it weirder and cooler. Let's have it do tracking. And now, and that's just too weird. Let's just make it invisible. Look at that. If you want to have complete control over the animation, you can go to the custom setting, full screen. You've got total formatting control over your text. It's always small. Make it whatever works. We've already talked about that. Then go to the title tab and start to set the animation you want it to be. You can have it animate by character, character without spaces, by word, by line, have everything come in at the same time. There's all kinds of options here. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our training videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. There's more than 500 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth, all up to date. Plus, members can attend any of our live power-up webinars for free. Our training covers both Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on creating killer titles inside Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.biz slash store. And look for webinar 95.